In this video, we'll balance the equation for Mg3N2 plus H2O. This is magnesium nitride plus water. So in the reaction, let's first count up the atoms and then balance the equation. We have three magnesium atoms, two nitrogens, two waters, and one oxygen. In the products, we have one magnesium, then one nitrogen, and then be careful with the hydrogens. This two, it applies to everything. So we have two times one, two hydrogens, plus these three hydrogens here, so five hydrogens. Then for the oxygens, we have two times the one, two it applies to everything in parentheses, so two times one, two oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygen atoms to last here. Let's just try to balance the magnesium. So we have three here and one here, put a three in front of the magnesium, one times three, that'll give us three magnesium atoms. We have to update the oxygen and the hydrogen now though. So now we have for hydrogen, two times one, that's two times three, six, plus these three here, that gives us nine. For the oxygen atoms, two times one is two, times three is six. Okay, let's do the nitrogens because that'll change the hydrogen atoms. We have two here and one here. We'll put a two in front of the nitrogen, one times two. That'll give us two nitrogen atoms. Those are balanced. Let's update the hydrogens again. So now we have two times one is two times three, that's six, plus two times three is six. So we have 12 hydrogen atoms. All right, it looks like if we put a six here in front of the water, two times six, that's 12, that'll balance the hydrogen atoms. And I think it balances the oxygens because we have one times six, that gives us six oxygens. We're done, this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Mg3N2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.